Somerville, South Carolina is one of the nicest places you could live in in America. Great schooling, a uh, very safe place to live and bring your kids up, uh, lots of uh, places to eat and shop, and great parks to, to bring your families. We have a thriving historic downtown. We've got award-winning residential developments. Uh, we have a very strong industrial and commercial corridor, which is one of the reasons I think that we have such a tremendous growth here in Somerville. The Somerville Police Department is a unique group of men and women who work very well together. We have a very tight, cohesive bond. And what's good about this, this environment is we are much like a family. Community engagement and outreach is a huge factor for what we do here at the Somerville Police Department. And just to name a few things that we do, for example, is we have a, an ice cream truck that we call the paddy wagon, and we take that around through different neighborhoods, and we, we give out free ice cream. It's a good opportunity for our officers to mesh with the community and get the kids to grow trust in law enforcement. We have stuff, the MRAP, where we use our, our MRAP, which is our SWAT emergency rescue vehicle, and we actually stuff that with toys or canned goods, depending on if we're doing a food drive or if we're doing a Christmas outreach. The outreach initiative certainly helps bring people together so that um, everybody understands that public safety is, is a shared responsibility. Everybody has a role to play in the safety of their community and um, it's a very collaborative effort. The Dignity Project is something that we collaborated with with the Coastal Crisis Chaplaincy Program. And what we did was we had a grassroots effort not long after what happened in Minneapolis where the community came together with clergy and with the police department to let them see us as people and not as a uniform. The Dignity Project is basically a grassroots project where community members have invited the police department in to talk about some of the hard issues that we're seeing in the media, either nationally or locally, and how those really interact with us locally uh, amongst our diverse community. So uh, the essence of the project is to have deep conversations, sometimes really hard conversations, and then out of that to have a partnership for uh, dedicated collaborations because uh, the, the essence of the project is that police and community are a shared effort, and that's what makes Somerville extremely special uh, is that, that, that engagement towards being involved in community and really knowing their issues. Somerville Police Department has a cadet program that is second to none. So we have quite a few officers who work here, one of which is our cadet advisor who came up through the law enforcement program. And what's great about this is if they start out at the age of 14, if they stay with it till they're 21 and they onboard as law enforcement, they show a level of maturity, they show a level of commitment, and they show a level of trust that we just don't get from anybody else at that age uh, when they're trying to become a law enforcement officer. The Somerville Police Explore program as a program for young adults between the ages of 14 and 20 who show interest in law enforcement and leadership or just want to make a difference in their community. While here at the police department, we train on things such as traffic stops, unknown risk and high risk scenarios, and how to talk to people. Our goal is to have a well-seasoned explorer who can exemplify a police officer's standards in the world we live in today. The Somerville Police Department is tackling the challenges of dealing with mental health uh, and illness by proactive measures through having an embedded clinician here it works alongside our officers every single day. A typical interaction with a vulnerable person when I'm involved looks typically like the officer calling me to triage the situation, what's going on, what their concerns are, and I provide direction towards the next best step for that person. The times that I can think of that this approach has really helped someone has been when an officer was between a rock and a hard place with an individual who hadn't committed a crime but they weren't able to take care of themselves. It helped this person get access to different resources that were maybe not available before. The community as a whole sees that there's efforts being made to bridge that gap between mental health and law enforcement. So I wanted to make sure that we had our officers uh, more physically uh, fit and mentally well. They're less likely to be uh, injured um, and they're more mentally well. Um, they feel better about themselves and have a, a robust self-esteem and that's really important in this profession right now. 
The Somerville Police Department offers a lot of different wellness activities for their officers. I try to be over here to run what we call combat strength training sessions where officers can come and we will hold a group fitness session to try to motivate individuals. We'll also do different activities such as Biggest Loser Challenges for weight loss competitions. We did a Murph challenge back on Memorial Day. We also offer things such as meal planning, cardio training, and personal training sessions. The town of Somerville is one of the fastest growing municipalities in the state of South Carolina. We as an organization want to continue to have the small town feel and the camaraderie and family-like atmosphere of a smaller agency, but as we grow and become larger, which we are, we're going to continue to have that type of atmosphere for our officers. And so that's what we offer. That's what this police department offers to the community as well as the town to the citizens. Certainly with the tremendous amount of growth, uh, we've had to adapt, but we have certainly planned for it. Our Somerville Police Department has planned for it. Our team is fully staffed. They're very well trained and just a team of elite professionals and we are ready to serve.